From a dream to reality, we're on the move. We got the groove. We're showing you what we can do. And we're gonna make it to the top. We're gonna give it all we got. It's our time to shine. From a dream to reality, we're on the move. We got the groove. We're showing you what we can do. And we're gonna make it to the top. We're gonna give it all we got. It's our time to shine. It's sip and speak the tea with D and D. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Sip and Speak the Tea with d and I'm Denise. And I'm Danette. Coming to you from Milwaukee. Each segment, me and Danette is going to be tasting flavor tea and suggesting to you guys if you should try it or not. Danette, what flavor tea we have today? Well, today we will be tasting mango pear white tea. That sounds, sounds crumptious, right? Yes, it does. Oh, let's <laughs> give this a taste. Okay. Mm, I like that. I like it too. That's good. Of course, That's I good. love pears and mango. So do I. So do I. That is really, really good. Yes. And I suggest, we suggest yes, that, that you, you try. try it. All right. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe with Sip and Speak the Tea with D&D. So y'all know what time it is. Our host, Miss Denise Winters, her book, The Untold Story, The One Who Got Away. Excellent book, excellent read, and I'm telling you, this is a book you must read. Please, people, you need to read this book. Denise, can you tell us a little bit about your book? Yes, I wrote the book starting from my childhood to my preteens to my adulthood and meeting a serial killer along the way. And I hope to help anyone that's in that dark place or before they get there. And I want the reader to follow along with me on my journey and follow my uh, triumphs as well as my tragedies. So let's get into our topics today. Today our topics is hashtag justice for Shaquilla, hashtag Friends or frenemy. Friend or frenemy. So what is the difference between friends and frenemy? So the word frenemy is an oxymoron and a portmanteau of friend and enemy. Wow. That refers to a person with whom one is friendly despite a fundamental dislike or rivalry or a person who combines the characteristics of a friend and an enemy. There are a lot of signs, you know, for a true friend, but several signs of a true friend. Mm -hmm. So a true friend would accept you for who you are and a friend will stick around you during the good times and the bad. And a real friend will celebrate life with you. Yes. Right. And make the time to see you. And will tell you the truth. Even if you don't like it. And a true friend will encourage you. And for you to you want, want to see you achieve your goals. So that's, you know, things that a true friend, you know, will be. Right. And you will want to probably cut ties with a friend if the friendship is constantly one-sided or if they betray your trust or if they don't keep your secrets or if they are overly negative and pessimistic or if you don't really have nothing to talk about and the biggest for me is they create or attract drama yes mm -hmm. That's a big sign for me right there. That'll make me just want to end it. Just cut it off. So have you ever had a friend before? 
I think there's probably a difference like with friends and then associates. Mm -hmm. But I can say that yes, you know, I have friends, but maybe like my relatives are also my friends. I don't really, I'm more of a loner. Mm -hmm. And I just be just around just a hand pick of people, you know, which are family members, but I guess they also be my friends too, so. I always wanted a friend, and my mother, she didn't have any friends. She would associate with just the families. And um, I asked her one day, I said, Mama, why you don't have any friends? And she said, you will see. And so I always <laughs> wanted a friend. And um, I thought I had a friend before, as I said in my book, and I had a secret. The secret was when I was on the LBTC committee, you know, she knew I had, you know, put tissue in my, put up tissue in my uh, bra. And she started a fight with me at school and she aimed just for the chest. And there go all the <laughs> tissue. I was so oh, embarrassed. Wow. I didn't want to go back to that school anymore. And that's what I thought was a friend. And that friendship completely ended. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, it yes, was really sure. over then. For I know, sure. right? So, you know, I really haven't had a friend, friend before. I think to, in today's world, as well, especially now, it's probably hard to have a friend. I mean, do, it's like, can you really trust anyone anymore? It's hard. It's very you hard. You just, I don't know. I guess you never know. If you think you have loyalty in a person and you think you have a really close bond and then before you know it, it's over. You know, that friendship is just cut because of some type of betrayal. Yes. And most likely a true friend is somebody I believe that you grew up with from elementary on up. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yes, I would agree with that. Because sometimes I think you look at it when you go into college, you meet a person and you think you have some of the same similarities and like some of the same things. Next thing you know, you know, she's seeing your man or something behind your back or, yeah. you know, it's a lot of that. Oh, yeah. A lot of that. Okay, well, the Shaquilla Robinson, those friends, uh, her friends, they went to college together. And they known each other for five years, and they decided to take a vacation <clears throat> to celebrate one or two of her friends, so-called friends' birthday. <clears throat> and uh, there was seven friends, and uh, only six came home. The Carbo Six. Her name was Shaquilla Robinson, and she was murdered by one of her so-called friends. I don't understand how. They could have let all of them leave her like that. You know why they weren't held. I don't understand that. So really, she didn't have a friend. Neither one of them could have been her friend. Correct. And she got into altercation with one of her so-called friends. And they said she suffered from a, a injured spine. And uh, she did not fight back. So you can tell she wasn't a fighter. She didn't want to fight, mm -hmm. you know. And it, it try to force her to fight. And then, what well, the girl's name was Dejanae, the first one she had a fight with. And then they said the other so-called friend, which is Winter, took her by her neck and body slammed her. Allegedly. But there was a video, they said there's a second video of that, we haven't, we've yet to see that, but right. all of it's allegedly, and it's just sad. It really is. And I'm so glad that United States did a movement on social media, so Carbo in Mexico could do something about this, because had it not been a movement on social media, I don't know if they would have ever put charges on uh, them, I mean, that person, which the only investigation, investigation and all that, right. and uh, allegedly the doctor and the police officers are all under investigation. You know, this has to be one of the worst horrific stories that I've heard 
And it's scary. It's scary. You have a person that goes on family trips with you and yeah. all around your family and your home. Eat at your family table. And then break they, bread with your family. They involved in taking your life. The U.S. doesn't have the jurisdiction to prosecute the Carbo Six. So that's why I was so glad that the movement took place on social media to put pressure on Mexico to get somebody to uh, uh, account for this girl's murder. It, it's just sad. And I feel that it, they all should be prosecuted. And they should. You they think? should. They should. Because they sit there and watched it. You know, so they didn't intervene. And so I think all of them should be prosecuted for this murder. And I do agree. I definitely yeah. agree with that. And, 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 and give Shaquilla Robinson some justice. Why? Why take her life? just some reason I just think it's more behind it and of course the story constantly changed day by day you know true, the, the story constantly changed and all we know that true. that is fact is there were seven people that went to Carbo on a vacation six come back and one gets murdered one is murdered and the um I topic shows that you know she suffer from a uh, injured spine. I know that I watched um, a couple of the videos and that was just hard for me to watch. And I can't believe that people hard. just stood there. It was hard. Just for me stood to watch. there and continued so called friends. Yes. Friends and or no friendly. one intervened. No one put a stop to it. So, were they all in on it together and this was something planned? I mean, allegedly, it's a lot of questions, I guess, to it, but I don't understand. I, I just, oh, I don't allegedly understand it at all. That this may have been planned by her frenemies. Um, People, be careful. Be yeah. careful who you choose as your friend. You know, to go on vacations with, or you know, to be around you, your loved ones, your children, because they don't hurt you, they may hurt, you know, one of your other loved ones, yes. or maybe your child. Yes. Um, you have to be careful now. It's just yes. hard to just put trust. Yes. I don't know what's going on in this world today, but people, we need to get it together. We need to get with God. Put peace and love in your hearts. Not anger, not jealousy. It's it's too much. And allegedly, they said that um, it may have been jealousy involved. That for the parents, it's just sad for the parents. You know, for me too, I have lost a child under age. He he didn't even get to to get eighteen or see eighteen. But then I had another child that went with some people that she so called knew. And then she came back not right. Yeah, she came back. Not, uh, she hasn't been the same. Got to be observant. Pay attention. Big shout out to Kylie Irving for donating $65,000 to, to the GoFundMe. And they raised $370,000. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay, that's beautiful. That's a wonderful thing. And I'm just like lost for words. It's just so sad. And I just hope Shaquilla gets justice. I'm going to give a shout out. We used to give a shout out each segment. And I'm giving Kali Irvin a big, huge shout out for his big, huge donation. I would like to give a shout out to the family yes. of Shaquille Robinson, to her family, my heart goes out to you. Yes. And to all the act, any activists or attorneys, um, all that are involved in getting justice 
So we we thank you for that. Yes, we thank you. We thank you for everybody pushing this, pushing this on social media, so Shanquilla can get justice. Right, right. And we want to give shout outs to, of course, our viewers and our supporters. Yes, shout out to our viewers and shout out to our subscribers. And a big shout out. We reached 100 subscribers. Yay! Yay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. you. It thank couldn't you. have been done without you. Uh, so we thank you thank very you so much. much. We got okay. a long way to go, but yeah, thank you. Slowly, you know, we we walking, you know, soon we'll be running with you know, and we'll get better. Yeah. We're still a work in progress, oh, but yeah. we're doing it, you oh, know. Yeah. And we're not gonna give up. Oh no, we're not. We need you. So we oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I wanna give a shout out to the people in the background. You know, for our production, because we couldn't do it without you either. So, thank you so much. And please, once again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe with Sip and Speak the Tea with D&D. &D. Denise Winters, her book, The Untold Story, The One Who Got Away, is now available for purchase. And if you are interested in Trust and Believe... You definitely should be interested in getting this book because it is great. But you can contact us at sip and speak the tea at gmail.com. So come on, people. When I go into that Gmail account, I want to see all of you asking for this book. And I know you will. So we appreciate for your support also for the purchases of Miss Denise Winters, her book, The Untold Story, The One Who Got Away. We also have a website, sipandspeak.net, that will give you information about the show, a little more information about the show, and information on Denise and I as well as, you know, individually, and also us as a team, our bios. We appreciate you and we thank you. And we would like to end this segment. Well, today I have a motivational poem. And it's called Thinking. Please listen and take heed. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but you think you can't. It is almost a cinch that you won't. If you think you'll lose, you've lost. For out of the world we find, success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you could ever win the prize. Life battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man. But sooner or later, the man who wins is the one who thinks he can. So that's the motivational poem for this segment. We thank you thank for tuning you. in. And please be a blessing so that you too shall be blessed. Until then, until next time, goodbye. Bye. And we're going to make it to the top. We're going to give it all we got. It's our time to shine. It's sip and speak the tea with D&D.